What'd you make of the Kawhi news last night, four hours of four tip, that he's out? I mean, unbelievable. Talk about a game changer, a series changer. Jim. Yes. Well, you know, I cover him during the course of the year. So having more of an intimate insight into what goes on, I mean, I was thoroughly surprised, but I knew that he had been playing with that injury since game one. It's just to happen that it swole up after, you know, second game. And unfortunately, it is what it is. And I just – Ty is my guy, Ty Lowe. We played together with the Rockets, and, of course, I cover him, and he's a good friend. And It's only so much you can do to manipulate your lineups and your rosters to be competitive. They were very competitive, you know, last night. For him to do, to be able to get his, his guys to be over 500, over 500 on the road, to, to be where they're at to compete, it's just been a phenomenal job. But at some point, you know this, Rich, you can only ask so much of the – roster that you have and you can only pull out so much in particular against a tough talented Phoenix Suns team and at some point it comes to an head and then when you lose a Paul George and now Kawhi Leonard I, I, it, it's just a tough ass tough task moving forward against a tough Phoenix team. So yeah Phoenix is going to advance right if Kawhi's needs yeah. to be load managed or is out every now and then uh, I mean I don't know how they pull this off quite frankly despite the performance we saw from them last night. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. okay. Uh, and one last one for you, because it sounds like your hotel phone is running out of battery. I'm not going to lie. I heard the. I heard the. I hear the beeps, Jim. Um, oh, you can hear it. I can hear it. It's all good. Um, okay. So, uh, what'd you make of Dylan Brooks calling LeBron old? What'd you think of that? I mean, it's. You know, it's what, what I said about Memphis is this: talented young group, exciting for the league. Um, but they're they were st- they're still seeking their basketball maturity, not from a human perspective, basketball perspective, because they're young, they're brash, they're bold, but they really haven't won anything yet. And this is the way you talk about it. And Dylan Brooks is kind of taking on the role of being the being the villain, but he got to understand something. Poking the bear, LeBron is not that kind of guy. He's not like Mike or, or Kobe. I mean, those who got you say that to them, oh, it's over. LeBron is going to beat you in a different way. He's not going to come out there and try to play outside of his game and try to go get 40 on Dylan Brooks. Now, would he be a little bit more aggressive? Yeah. But LeBron is a different kind of cerebral player that tries to beat you in different ways. Unlike Kobe and Mike, they're going to go after your throat. They're going to tell you that from day, from the beginning of the game, from jump ball, they're going to say much in the media, but then they're going to give you that look You know, when, when the jump ball tips off. And you better be ready for it. LeBron is a different animal. He's built differently. Well, I, and and I know we're kind of opening the door here, or at least I am, by going down this road. That is the argument many people have to say that LeBron isn't this, as good as Kobe or Jordan because that he, he doesn't have that gene in him, or he doesn't care to have that gene in him. Um, and and of course that 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 completely uh, sidecars his greatness. Um, but well, that Magic is didn't have. I mean, Magic was different. Right. Magic didn't have that killer like that. Magic beat you all the way around, smiled at you, pat you on the butt, then drop, you know, 18 to give you 15 assists and 10 rebounds, okay? And then he commanded and controlled the game. What's the difference there? Le- LeBron can only be who he can be. Listen, Rich, when he was in high school, and I got a chance to follow him because he's from Ohio, he-, he was the same player. Very easily he could have averaged 40, 45 points a game as a high school senior. Okay, and dominate. But he understood at the time that in order for us to be successful, this is my personality and this is how I need to play. I give it up to my teammates. They need to be involved. So he's been that way his whole life. Yeah. So why, I don't understand why people expect him to change or want him to change or want him to be somebody different when he's not. He's LeBron James. That's his personality. That's who he is. And I judge him and I view him from that um, prism and not from – Mike's, because Mike is different. Not from Kobe's. Kobe's is different. Allen Iverson is different. That's the uniqueness, and I think the greatness in each of these players is that they all are unique, but they all are top tier, top you know, 15, 20, top five players that ever played the game with different personalities. So then let me go in the 90 seconds I have left in this direction with you. Okay. How about, how about because LeBron would be happy to pass it up to Rui Hachimura, for instance, to to win the game and then stare at Dylan Brooks and go, see you later, son. You know, like, I, he, he'd be happy to do that. Um, then, 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 how, then how about Draymond getting part of that in his game? 
where instead of stomping on somebody, he'll go down in the moment, realizing in the moment that he can stick Sabonis with a flagrant. He'll go down, and then instead of stomping on Sabonis, he just will wink at him saying, gotcha. What, where, how about him being part? How, how about him having that part of his game, Jim? What about that? Great great question, and that's something that Draymond would have to answer because after he got – you know, in the 2016, when he got suspended, he said he learned, he wants to mature, he wants yeah. to grow from that. But yet we're at this point again where he put his team at jeopardy of losing a game or a series because of his actions. So at some point, that maturity level has to meet the words that you're saying. It can't digress. And we've seen it kind of close to the edge with Draymond on a couple of times, but now it hit the point where it did hurt the team. But – not enough where they lost the game. So I don't know if Draymond can actually do that in regards. He's a in, highly intelligent player. We know that. Come on, man. Individual. He is. I know. He's so highly intelligent. He's got that he's in him. One of the, probably one of the smartest players to play the game. But can he control the emotion exactly. at the time is the question. Okay? Mm-hmm. At, when, when the infraction happens to him, can he control that enough to flip that script to force the other player to make the mistake, and then it benefits the team while he still can smile and walk away and say, like you said, gotcha. Gotcha. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 